Welcome to Advanced Client Tools, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Client. Each time you want to move to the next slide, click anywhere on the slide to continue or click on the forward arrow as shown here. The Advanced Client Tools module will guide you through some of the lesser known features and configurations that can make Velocity users even more productive. To start, we'll take a look at the Velocity Client main menu. Next, we will look at the Host Context menu. After that, we will look at how to swap keyboards if your screen has multiple keyboards configured. And last, we will wade through the myriad of configuration options available per host connection. The Velocity Client main menu drives many things when connected to a Velocity session. The menu allows the users to connect to another session, shows the user which sessions are active, turns on and off safe mode, and is the quickest and easiest way to disconnect from a Velocity Client session. To access the client menu from your mobile device, first tap the Velocity icon to start the client. Next, tap on the host profile you want to execute. Once connected, on the bottom right hand side of the screen there is a menu button. Tap that button. The client main menu will appear on the screen. The first option of the Velocity Client main menu is Add Session. From this option, you can open another session parallel to your current session. Velocity allows for up to four concurrent sessions per client. To add the new session, tap on Add Session. From the initial client screen, tap on the session you wish to execute. The session connects and is now running concurrent with the previous session, with the new session now taking focus. The client main menu also displays all sessions active on the client. On the last screen, we selected a new session concurrent with our previous session. Now, if we tap the menu on the lower right of the screen, we bring up the client main menu again. All currently active sessions show on the menu. The session that just had focus when we called the client main menu is highlighted. To change to another session, just tap on that session and the client will toggle you back and forth as needed. The next option in the Velocity main menu is the Safe Mode toggle. To understand this option, you must understand Safe Mode versus Smart Mode. Safe Mode in Velocity utilizes the traditional black and green screen common to terminal emulation applications. While in safe mode, Velocity's ability to render pages in HTML is deactivated and you navigate through the screens using keystrokes and scanners. Smart mode utilizes Velocity's built-in HTML reader and uses themes created within the Velocity console and presents screens with updated screen layouts and styles. The Turn Safe Mode On-Off toggle is how the user is able to swap between the two modes. If we bring up the Velocity Main Menu Client, the default value of Safe Mode Off is shown. When you tap on the option and toggle the Safe Mode to On, the screen will turn back to the traditional black and green screen mode of normal emulation. Toggle setting back to Safe Mode Off the screen will return to the HTML-like page rendering the Velocity offers. The About option in the Client Main Menu has two important pieces of information. From the menu, tap About. A window pops up and it displays the software version of the Velocity Client. It also displays the device's serial number and license status right below that. If the device is running in demo mode, it will show a status of no license. If it has a production license installed, it will show the username of the company that purchased the license. Tap OK to close the window and return to the client main menu. When you are finished using the Velocity Client main menu, you have two options to exit and save. Option one is to tap on the exit main menu button on the lower left portion of the screen. Option two is to tap the Android back key. 
No matter which option you choose, you return to the current session on the same screen that was active when you entered the menu. A host context menu is a global menu configurable for each host profile or project when using the Velocity console. This menu is a list of quick to reach commands that can make a worker more productive when running the applications associated with the host profile. To display the context menu, the user has to be connected to a host. Then at the bottom left corner of the screen, there is the context menu button. When that button is tapped, the context menu appears. If a menu option is tapped, for example, the back menu option, a command configured for that button to go back a screen is executed. The device is toggled out of the context menu and shows the screen that was displayed based on the action of the back command. If you decide to exit the context menu without making a menu choice, tap the Exit Context Menu button on the lower right side of the screen. The session toggles back to the same screen that had focus when the Enter Context Menu button was tapped. Depending on how the application or the Velocity Console project was designed, the keyboard will display or disappear as each screen is shown. The Velocity Client gives you access to the keyboard using a keyboard toggle button. It is possible to toggle the keyboard on or off depending on your need. In the lower middle section of the screen is a button that displays an icon of a keyboard. This is the keyboard toggle. If you tap the button, the keyboard will toggle on and off. So, in our first example, with the keyboard active, when the keyboard button is tapped, the keyboard disappears. In the second example, with the keyboard hidden, when the keyboard button is tapped, the keyboard will display itself. When a keyboard is active, Velocity lets the user swap between all keyboards that have been configured for the host profile either via settings in the application or the project that was built using the Velocity console. If you swipe your finger or stylus to the left, it will select the next keyboard designated in the keyboard order list. You can keep going to the left until you've gone through all the available keyboards, and then you will start at the top and go through them again. If you swipe your finger or stylus to the right, it will show each keyboard in the descending order that it was placed into the keyboard order list. You can keep going to the right until you've gone through all the keyboards and then you will start from the bottom of the list again. It is possible to manually configure a host profile directly on the client as we saw in the module basic configuration options. While this is not considered best practices and Wavelink recommends that all host profiles be configured with the Velocity console, it is important to understand what some of the advanced host profile configurations are all about. We start with safe mode. As we talked about before in this module, the safe mode on-off toggle is how a user can, when needed, manually swap between the two modes. If we tap the safe mode toggle to yes, the screen will run in traditional black and green screen mode. If we tap safe mode toggle to no, the Velocity Client will utilize its built-in HTML reader to use themes created within the Velocity console and present screens with updated screen layouts and styles. Safe mode equals no is the default setting. The auto carriage return toggle works this way. If auto carriage return is set equal to no, no carriage return will be added to any screen input. In most cases, the carriage return is needed. Therefore, a setting of auto carriage return equals yes is the desired setting as well as the default setting. The authorization configuration section is used in conjunction with the client license server to automate the Velocity client license delivery. You must already have set up and configured the client license server to understand what parameters to be placed in this section. This module assumes that you have that information. Here we look at a configuration of a client license server. The host address of the license server is 172.19.11.11 .11 .11, 
and it is listening on port 1820. Now we will configure the Velocity client to use the client license server settings. We will add the IP address of the server. We will configure the port. We are not using the site ID, so we will leave that at the default of zero. The client is now configured to be served its licenses automatically. The Enable Logging toggle allows for information to be gathered about a Velocity client connection. By default, Enable Logging is set to No, and this is considered best practice. But when detailed information about the session is needed, log files can be accumulated. To enable logging, swipe the Enable Logging button to Yes. Next, set the log file max size to a size that will capture all the data needed. By default, the file size is 1024 bytes or 1K. The files are stored on the SD card under the file name com.wavelink.velocity. All connection information is logged to a file called velocity underscore session dot log. When the max file size is exceeded for the session, all data is copied to the velocity underscore session dot BAK file. The original session log is wiped and data begins to flow back into the current file. In this current configuration, 2K of current log data will be stored on the client at any one time. There are three other additional configurations available to be manually configured on the device. These settings are normal enterprise-wide settings and are done by a system administrator. They will be discussed in detail when we talk about configuring host profiles with the Velocity console. In brief, those configurations are SSH configuration. Use SSH to encrypt the information set to the host. There is no additional software for SSH on the device, but the host must be configured for SSH. When this option is selected, the port is changed to 22. Next is the SSL configuration. Use SSL to encrypt the information sent to the host. There is no additional software for SSL needed on the device, but the host must be configured for SSL. When this option is selected, the port is changed to 992. Last is Wavelink's Connect Pro settings. Connect Pro is a server that allows you to avoid dropped connections and automatically reconnect by adding as an intermediary connection server between the client device and the host application server. Connect Pro is free, downloadable, and a software package that will work with any Wavelink software such as Terminal Emulation, Industrial Browser, and Velocity CE. Thank you for listening to Advanced Client Tools, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Client. You are now ready to move on to the next module. Wavelink is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Landis Corporation and has offices around the world so there will always be a convenient office near you. If you would like any more information, please contact your Wavelink sales representative or email us at the address sales at wavelink.com.